Hi Leos, welcome and welcome back to Prefer Her to Row. I love to see that you prefer me. We're about to hop into your reading and see what's going on with you all. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. If you all would like to get a person in reading with me, all of my information is down below. Let's get into this reading. First, we're going to get into the prayer first. <laughs> Dear God, it's Spirit, God, it's Heavenly Ancestors. Holy Spirit, I invite you and only into my reading. I ask that you clear my energy and protect me from entities and energies that do not serve me. Thank you for showing me what I need to know, not what I want to know for the sign of Leo. And thank you for helping me reach as many Leos that I possibly can with your divine knowledge and knowing. Please help me speak clearly, see clearly, and think clearly for the sign of Leo. I thank you. I love you in the holy name that I pray. Amen. So, let's get into the reading. Leo. Most important messages for the sign of Leo. This is going to be my last reading for tonight. I don't want to wear myself out. I feel myself being tired already, Leo. Most important messages for the sign of Leo, please. And thank you. All right. Eight of Cups, removing yourself. Walking away, letting go. So we have the Justice card, the Five of Swords. Um, yeah. If someone was trying to get over on you, yeah, like even if you were going to court, back and forth to court, and you feel like someone was trying to get over on you, uh, the wrongs will be righted if they haven't been already, or you're on your way to get those things done. Moving forward, more messages for the sign of Leo. It could have been dealing with a Libra as well. So we have the Ten of Swords that jumped out in reverse, and then we have the High Priestess. Um, hmm. Someone didn't want to let go. So someone didn't want to let go of the fact that something was already over with. That could have been you, but it could it could also be someone else involved in a situation where um, you've already turned your back on, on something or someone. You've already de denied it. You've already said you won't be involved. But yet, why did I, ha I hear piercing at you? Like something that someone is piercing at, like is trying to force you. So I'm guessing because the page of swords is at the bottom of the deck, which 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 would kind of be like someone watching you or trying to get more information about you or on you. Nine of Wands not giving up, right? Damn, that's crazy. Like someone just don't want to give in. Did I say that? But that's exactly what I'm seeing with the page of swords and the nine of wands. Like refusing to give up. Going to figure out a way, another way. To push forward strength card it could be you but the strength card is right next to the temperance card where this is a person who's controlling themselves which i feel is you 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 could be dealing with a um sag but you have a better understanding of something let's get more information more, of course you have a better understanding of something we have the high priestess here where you know something is going on you know someone won't, won't let up you know someone someone won't give in or let me more messages for leo we have the page of wands so it's an offer this can be you Knight of Wands is at the bottom of the deck, but that Justice card, the Five of Swords and the Five of Cups is here. So there you are with the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the Star card. Um, whether you're a woman or a man, when it comes down to your feminine side, when it comes down to you creating and what it is that you want to create, um, having some type of loving situation or being nurtured or being able or feeling like Feeling like you were able to be vulnerable with others or being able to show show them your nurturing side. I'm guessing that that had been hard for you 
you have been going through a struggle with that. And it looks like something may be turning around for that. Okay. But. But. It was about you facing your fears. About. Um, you've. You've. You've hidden yourself or you've allowed others to hide you. So you wasn't being your truest self. Like you wasn't shining as brightly as you could being, I guess, involved or dealing with certain people or working in certain places or doing certain things. Right. So you found it hard to create and manifest. And you also found it hard to love. OK. And that's. That's me saying it, saying it simpler. More messages for Leo. What's the Eight of Cups? The full card. You're walking away because you're ready for new beginnings. And a King of Pentacles. You're ready for something more steady. You're ready for something more um, secure. The Knight of, Knight of Pentacles. You're willing to take your time to get there. The Six of Swords. You're moving forward. What's the Ten of Swords in reverse? What's the Ten of Swords in reverse? We have the King of Wands. Have at it. And then we have the Knight of Wands with the Justice card. So this is you. It's that masculine side showing up in me, showing up to me now, right? Uh showing itself to me. This is you continuing to take risk. You continuing to move forward. You continuing to be motivated. Even when Things didn't work out for you. But also knowing when to let up or when to remove yourself from something here with this. This is someone, this is an understanding of you knowing that you may not have walked away from situ situations where you could have or should have before. But now you learn to walk away now. This is the opportunity or understanding to the opportunity to learn how to remove yourself from situations that you didn't do before. This is all this is to lead yourself to more structure, stability and security within yourself. This is not just about money, baby. No, it's about it all. All areas of life, okay? Let me move forward. What's the high priestess? High priestess is the loving card. And then um, the world card at the bottom of the day. Holding back underneath the world card, which is the four of pentacles. And then what's that? The king of cups. So this could be allowing your emotions to hold you back. Not seeing some things. Being stuck. And it was it, the tower had to come down on those things that kept you stuck, but it was it was things that were emotionally holding you back that you failed to see, but they were right there. So closing out that chapter, we have you making better choices, and then you get that you have that divine intuition or that aha moment or this is. Yeah, this is just a you having a better understanding or knowing to make better decisions or this is just your intuition. You feel yourself growing. You feel yourself being a better or different person. Um, Like you feel like this. Nothing can hold me. Nothing can hold me back type of energy. Move forward. What's the page of wands? So. OK, so the five of pentacles is clarifying the page of wands. I like it. The reason why I like it is because um, with this high priestess and you knowing like, well, you have to make better decisions for yourself in order to have better for yourself. You know the type of, you know what type of things that you want. You know what it is that you, uh, yeah, you know what it is that you desire. So when something or some, when someone or something is trying to offer you Offer, offer you what it is that you don't want, you know how to just ignore it and continue to work on what it is that you do want, okay? Queen of Pentacles, yeah, Eight of, eight of Pentacles. 
Let me see some what's underneath here. So someone felt trapped. Someone found it hard to like rest and um like find value within themselves. So be happy be happy with yourself type of energy or knowing how to go out in the world and be happy with who you are and not care what someone else has has to feel about you and stuff like that. Let me move forward. What's the full full card? We have the chariot. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, here you are moving forward. As an independent, as an individual, as um, true, as being true to yourself, right? Knowing your value. That's a Virgo energy right there. Two of Wands. You're doing things differently to approach love, to approach, to approach wish fulfillment, to create that. But you're, instead of creating out of hurt, I should say. You're doing something different, differently in order to approach love instead of manifesting out of hurt and trauma that you've been through, right? Undesired outcomes. I feel like you always had to fight, fight. Okay, see, the term one just threw me off. I heard... I uh, feel like you always have to fight for what was right. And the reason I'm guessing it's coming up because if it's right, it just is. You don't necessarily have to fight for it. Now, it's, it's reminding me of how people feel like they need to fight for how, however you see a God or God is, the universe, the most high is like, what do you mean fight for it? It already does. It's nothing you need to do to fight for it. You need to what you need to do is live for you. Do do live or make the best decisions for you. Live the best life for you. Create the best things that you can, right? As you're on this earth, that's your blessing. He. It was a it's it's a blessing to be able to. I'm guessing what we do for source when it come down to working for. Besides the fact of us helping one another to, to understand that we can continue to grow and, and become better within ourselves is to just live our best lives because we all know, or if you don't know, we all have spirit within us. So I'm guessing it's like, well, what's coming to me now is like, that's what you all are doing for me. You all are living as human beings. I come through you all. Take it, just think about the, the story of, of Jesus, stuff like that. Okay. And moving forward, I don't want to sit on that. I don't want to sit on that. So what's the um what's the lover's card? Um um judgment card. Yeah, you this is you making a choice to be better for you, making a choice to release yourself from the self-imposed imprisonments, okay? So relax. And just love you to, to relax and just let love be love. To relax and just let God be God, right? God is be God is. Four of, four of cups, the seven of wands. Like, instead of sitting there wishing and hoping for more, 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 it's time to appreciate what you already have, have, have. Okay? It was something else. Under that, yeah, instead of, and also... It was also for some of you are a blockage towards spirit, towards the most high, towards the one that creates us or is within us to understand that there is a connection. So, wow. Oh, shit. That creates the blockage. That creates the blockage and the separation. What am I talking about? The self-imposed imprisonment, the the um, denial of what has happened, the trauma, the what you've been through, what you may have caused, that type of stuff, the the um, ignoring of making wrong decisions, that keeps the separation from not only source but ourselves. So within us all. So move forward. What's the judgment card? No, let's go to the chariot card. Knight of Wands, Three of Swords, Two of Cups, Two of Swords. How have you been moving? How have you been moving? What direction were you going? What direction were you taking? 
it seems like that's more so you moving away from that energy. But yeah, it is moving away because the Eight of Cups, that's where it starts. Your new beginning starts, you walk away. Or you walked away, you, your new beginning starts. But it's no longer living in that energy of just living freely and feeling like there were, aren't any consequences or thinking that you don't have any control of the life that you create. Moving forward. What's the judgment card? We have the Four of Swords. Yeah, wow. See, I, I didn't want to say that term all this time. But you made sure that I said it, didn't you? So the source says, so the hyper card is at the bottom of the deck with the knight of pentacles. Just learn to wait on me. Not me. Source. God. God is. God is. Whether you want look. However you see it, however you see it. We have the high priestess. We have the lovers card, the judgment card clarified with the four of swords. You making that decisions to know how to wait on source. And that's not me. I don't have to reiterate you just being lazy and doing nothing and thinking that life just gonna happen for you. No, this is a this is understanding when to, I'm guessing, to wait on source. Learning how to have that connection. Learning how to meditate and better and get a better connection with source because I'm guessing yeah, that's what this card means as well with the four swords. Meditation and stuff like that, along with that um with that um higher friend card. But let's get some advice. I feel like I'm talking too long, guess. Clef, I mean, can I get some advice for Leos? Excuse me. The strength card. You can overcome. It's you. It's your card that came out. I just want to make sure I'm not out of focus. So we have the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. The Ace of Pentacles. We have new opportunities for you. We have the Page of Pentacles. Just grab it. Take control of it. You have what it takes. The Empress card. You creating um, abundance and more. Uh, abundance and more. You creating the abundance. Um, give me some. Uh, get what else with this card? I don't know why I've been so thrown off with explaining the uh, feminine energy lately, but maybe I need to be looking more into it. Into it. Softening. No, that's because I'm looking for the right words for this reading. Hold on, y'all. Let me give me a second. I need to look at the rest of these cards. See what the heck is going on. What else is going on? I just threw myself off. But um, looking at the other cards, so I said, you been, so yeah, I'm getting tired. I just threw myself off for no reason. Thinking about the Empress card and then I tried to grab the other cards to see what else was going on. Baby, I apologize, Leo. So um, the advice is to be you. You have the strength to overcome. Follow your heart. You have new opportunities to advance. You have what it takes in order to be in control, be to to not only harness, but yeah, to be in control of these opportunities that come towards you. Okay, for you to take advantage. Excuse me, and then um, with this empress energy, I feel like she's telling me something else. There we go. Because the, the this King of Swords next to this Emperor's energy. It could be someone that you were dealing with that was toxic. Okay. It could have been a third party situation. And there that look at that Hermit card. I was just talking about that Hermit card. And you acknowledging where this person may have had you in some type of third party, toxic, low vibrational, whatever weird type of um, relationship. Okay. But with you having the strength to see who you are, to see what it is that you actually deserve as being um just being who you are because it doesn't matter what it, whether you're a woman or a man but as this divine feminine energy being next to this king of swords energy it gives me this energy damn i'm sorry leo i don't want to just stop the read i'm trying to finish it um She's learned more about her you've learned more about yourself you learn more about how to treat you not only to treat you, but how to treat others, okay? To be prosperous and to also care for others, okay? To create and also create out of health. To create out of a high vibrational state and not just be creating anything type of energy. You have the strength to do that. I have, whew, 
my goodness this is the last reading i was supposed to do some other ones but i'm no i'm gonna just stop here after this what's the strength card it's beautiful though we have the will of fortune in the world card for you clarifying the strength card things are turning around for you leo things are turning around for you maybe that strength card also signifies that you have been going through some type of struggles that you've been resilient that you have to overcome some things, right? Now, you might not see this. And I'm telling you all, you, somebody was just like, mm, I don't know what she's talking about. I'm not trying to hear it. She always coming over here with this super positive stuff, like everything is going to be okay. Well, I feel like that's what God is telling me to do. To say yeah, everything is going to be okay. In the words, to try to get you through it. I don't know. I can see I'm better, but look, for right now, this is what it is. The two of swords energy. And a, yeah. So you may not see it because you feel probably feel stuck still. You probably feel like you're still going through all type of tower moments. I see it on top of the eight of pentacles where something may be shifty with the which with your work environment. You might be overworking yourself. You just got a heavy workload. Okay. Just a, uh, maybe the relationship is burdensome. Maybe just tired of where you're staying. Just, just that's how you've been feeling. But things are turning around soon because source has acknowledged your strength that's a word that i heard at the very beginning of this and i just didn't say it i said whatever else i needed to say but you are being acknowledged i feel okay let's clarify the world card <sighs> clarify the world clarify the world so we have the um three of three of cups and the page of pentacles energy Who was in a third party relationship? What the hell? Somebody was in a third party relationship. Somebody was dealing with people or you were um associated with individuals that were that were not good for you. I'm guessing they was giving you small time offers. You thought it was good enough for the time being, but then you realize you could have so much more in life and the stuff that they came with, it was just not enough. It was just not worth it. It came with baggage and all type of stuff, right? Maybe that's what you've learned. Yeah, because I realize I see yeah, I find some type of emotional maturity, some type of growth here. What's this will of fortune? The devil. God dog. Damn. Thank you. That's why I came like that. See, I didn't even I knew some type of cycle was over and things was gonna turn around for you all, Leo. But I didn't even peep the fact that the cards were right next to each other, right? I didn't peep the fact that we had a world card, we had the world card right next to the it wasn't like okay anyway the world card in the will of fortune it could be as if like um you felt like things that were going for you at one point in time ended it was it was ending and you had to overcome that that goes back to the burdens and things you were constantly having to deal with right so now we have this devil card that came on top of this will of fortune and that could be some like karmic cycles toxic cycles low vibrational cycles unfortunate cycles things that you didn't want un uneventful so the two of wands and the ten of cups i think everything that we learned over here that i was talking about where you're doing things differently here and it goes back to it's taking me back to the empress card that was next to that king of swords i am sorry for whoever this is out here and unfortunately i understand some of you all have been violated and um intimately some of you all have been violated intimately some of you all have been used and abused in that way as well some of you may have created that type of environment i wish i hope not But thank you, thank goddess for those that overcame this energy, okay? It's a blessing for you all to overcome this. You all have the strength to endure. Um, for some of you all, you may have felt like you didn't have what it takes in order to overcome what you've been going through or whatnot. But I feel like God is letting me out, letting me know. So let you all know that you are overcoming. You don't see the change, but it's happening, okay? You may have had a whole lot of a whole lot of um what you what we may call as uh, demons in your face you may have felt but 
that cycle is I feel like that chapter is coming to an end. Forget, forget. I'm glad I'm glad it is because it's right next to that Wheel of Fortune and that devil card. Clarifying it. I feel like you're clearing out some type of wow, generational cycles. I haven't talked about that in a while. What's the devil card? King of Cups and that King of Swords coming out again. And taking me back to that violation. Some of you all have you all have been violated in court. Wrongdoings in court or something like that. It's all type of, I see all type of wrongdoings here. And it, I don't know who said it was it was on, but I also see where it hit some some of you all like to the court, like it really messed you all up. And for some of you all it was nothing you could do about it. It was nothing you could do about it, but also I'm getting here like well you could just it's time for you to walk away. You can walk away from that. You can walk away from it. It's like it's an opportunity to walk away from to remove yourself from this energy. Oh now I want to find an oracle to uh, read. Oh, so let me we'll see what's going on with this King of Swords, King of Cups energy. Why are they here? I'm not even it could have been a Libra Gemini Aquarius energy that you feel like you were violated by, or it could be a um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Yep, I think I want to leave it here. That's just the, I'm done. It then it perked me up almost, it pissed me off to to a certain extent. Did I ever clarify this judgment over here? I don't even know. No, I don't, if I did, if I didn't, I just did now. It's the judgment to, it's to do something differently in order to get to that happy place. Leo, that was your reading. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if it resonated. How it resonated. Leave a like, share, all of that good stuff. I love you all. I love me. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.